you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Alright, so here's just an overview of the grids. And we are going to be starting at the grids. So right here, those, the white things are just doggy pads that I put on there. It folds up like that and there's extra storage under there. And sometimes when I have to shut them in there while I'm cleaning, I just use that little twisty bob and I just hook it on. It's so easy and it doesn't take up any room. So I really like that. Okay, so under here, here is his hay box and that little black thing in there. That is his food dish, but he has already ate all of his food and he doesn't need any more. There's also a mirror back there. And then there is, um, <laughs> there's a little green thing which I put some extra veggies in and there is a water bowl. There are also tiles on the bottom which stay cool, so that's very nice. Right here is just a little apple steak that he put on top of that little cat bed. He goes inside of it and he likes it and it stays warm. Alright, so in here on the bottom, those are just sticky like sheet things that you put in a house. And then I have a tile right there to keep it cool if he wants to cool down in there. I am planning on putting more toys in here. And then you can just go up that little ramp thing. Right here, it undoes right there and it's a little door so I can go inside there. And then, as you can see, he just jumps up onto here. He likes that little towel that I put in. There's also a water dish, but I need to clean it because he just put mint in it. As you can see, he is a brat. Then there's a doggy pad for him to lay on. He doesn't chew them up, but he does lay on them, and he likes them. Here's cardboard that I put in here for him to chew on. And then he uses the platform to jump into the next level. So here's the door on this level. You just unhook this red toy from right there and then the door opens so right under here there's another <laughs> puppy pad and then there's a little mat there and there's a little toy which was on top but he drag it down because he likes it there is a little water bowl back there and then right here's a little foam mat all right then here is the top fifth level and then as you can see he does have lots of toys in there that he plays with and then a little cardboard bed that i made him and he does like all of those toys and then there are mirrors along each of the sides and then on top of the grids is this waterproof mat with wood underneath it just so that no water gets inside the grids so right here is the cat tunnel that he absolutely loves and then back there is a stool that i used to get up on the top level and he hides under up here has some toys and a little bed in the back and then there is a grid right there so that it holds it up so under here is a little blue bed frame and then a and then a lot of little cat toys and rabbit toys and baby toys there is also a little food dish over there and then all of the tiles that are all over the ground to keep it cool even during the sun under that little tunnel thing right there is some of those little pots that oreo likes to knock over there are also little sticky things i stuck to the mats to make it look nicer a little cat toy on the ground there and then there is that little hay feeder that has raspberry leaves and then hay so he just moves it around and it makes having hay a lot of fun and then this is the dirt box which he likes to dig in and then behind there is that so he doesn't eat the wood while he's in the dirt box under there stays very cold with the tile so he stays over there most of the time inside the hutch there is some linoleum flooring a puppy pad water bowl apple sticks and a tile so up here is the camera so I can watch him and then over here is like a back wall thing it gives it more shade in there and then we just have a lot of grass for him to eat inside this is grass that is growing because it's dying over there but it's just a lot of grass and then over here is some mint lemon balm there's basil and some wheat berry up here we have sunflowers which he absolutely loves and then there is a board right there to stop rain from getting inside. And then right there, it needs to be filled up with hay so that he has another place to go if he wants. And then I have a solar light here so I can see when I come outside at night. And then up here is the sunshade. It keeps it almost in completely shaded throughout the entire day and it does stop some of the rain from getting by. Overall, he's really liking the new setup and he loves that the grass has been growing so much. So it's been really nice having him in here. And here's some of the footage from me letting him out and letting him back in here after he has been sick for a long time.